Hi, everybody. This is your stay at home grandma, and I am bringing you your DIY for the day for Wednesday. Now, for the next month, we're going to do kitchen DIYs on Wednesday. Okay, and then we'll do other DIYs on my Friday night, I believe. But, okay, you get a few things in the mail I want to share with you. But first, we're going to do some cocoa. So, this is the Hershey syrup that comes in here this little thing right here and what we're using today is Hershey's dry cocoa and this is the unsweetened one okay so I have a half a cup I put in the salt already I don't know if you can see it or not but there's some salt in there the fourth of a teaspoon of salt I'm gonna put this in I have to get the vanilla I did not get that for some reason I always get something so I'm putting that fourth of a cup in there and then these over here I'm going to add some water and this is a cup of water okay my little table over here and this is a half a, I mean a cup of sugar so then after all that's added in we are going to stir this up before we put it on the stove Okay, so we're gonna whisk this in just to mix it up really, really good. Now that we've mixed the ingredients and we're going to put it on a low heat, and you can make your own syrup. This, I believe, is four dollars. You might be able to get some coupons for it, I'm not really sure. If you write to them, they'll give you some coupons. And then this is $4, but you get, I want to say, five. I'm not sure whether I made five or six of these already, because I think that there's like two more in here. It might be one more, I'm not sure, but we're going to go to the stove. Now I'm going to put this down. How's everybody doing? I'm doing fine. Let me lift this up so you can see me at the stove. Put this on a low heat. Make the slow. I'm going to whisk this until all of it is melted. Now you can put this in other bottles besides just the Hershey bottle. But we go through chocolate. Should be melting very slowly, but melting nonetheless. Now you don't want to bring this to a boil, you just want this to simmer. I came on earlier. Today for some reason, I'm trying to get my, my times right. Thank <laughs> you. 
once you don't see any more of that chocolate, you just let this cook very slowly. Okay, so all this is here, so we're just going to leave this here and let this cook very slowly. Okay, so one more thing. I have um, a teaspoon of, in this bowl, I'll sit down and I'll show you. I have a teaspoon of um, corn cornstarch, and you want to put in a fourth of a cup of water. Okay, and you want to mix this because you're going to put a slurry in, and that's going to help to make it into a syrup. Okay, so we're going to leave this because I have to get some vanilla. I forgot that. Well, anyway, how's everybody doing? I am doing fine. Nothing like a cup of coffee, is it? Cool, hot. Okay, so I'm going to go to the stove. Now, this slurry is all ready. I'm going to pull the slurry in. That's it. So now I'm going to mix this up because this is going to thicken. And I'm going to get, I'll be right back, I gotta get some vanilla. So I'm going to let that simmer for a little bit and then put the vanilla in and then we've got our chocolate syrup. Much like Hershey's syrup. Back a little bit better, I believe. Hi there. How are you? What's up, Ray? Yes, it is. It's a great day. <laughs> Multitasking. Yep, hugs to you too. So... I am going to do one DIY where I come on and one DIY where it'll be just music in the background. And um, I'll put that up. And so, so we're going to do our differences of syrups. I haven't written everything together. The next one I know will be strawberry syrup, but I think that that will be, um, I want to say um, silent music in the background. And then we'll do other things. I'll have everything all written out. Um, I'll check that in a minute. But if you want to see something, just write it in here and let me know. Anyway, I'm going to go check it. And while I'm up there, I'm going to put in the vanilla. I'm also going to teach you how to make your own vanilla and your other little essence or extracts, as we call it. Some people call it essence. Some people call it extract. Now, while I'm up, 
I'm going to put in a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of um, vanilla. Mix this up. Let this get just a little bit. Let me get the funnel down too. It's a little bit thicker. Now what I'm going to do eventually is make some caramel sauce, but I haven't made any caramel sauce in like years. So you're going to work with me on that one. Anyway, I'm going to do some of this. I got these from Aaliyah's Deals. I got two packs of these. Okay. And these were, I think, $2.50 a piece. It was like a flash sale. So I got these. I got two of these. Here's the other one. Now these I bought from my arts and craft room, which is, hmm, I ain't going to mention it. Um, I got these beads. Now I had the red and white ones the other day, but I got the black and white ones and the white ones. I can open this. Oh, they put tape on it. They like messing with you, you know, with me anyway. I'm not sure how. <laughs> I'll get in. You know me. Now I gotta go to the doctor small. So let me tell you about this this doctor. I was supposed to go, so I thought, to the doctors on Tuesday, which was yesterday. So I get up and everything like that, but I call the doctor's office because I had to ask for a question before I came in because I'm changing doctors. And, um, well, let me back up a little bit. My doctor retired last year, so she too had a new new doctor take over her office. And it, it just played havoc with, because I'm on Medicare, and we have to we have doctors and stuff like that. And I have Cigna Health along with my Army Health because we have to pay Carol. We have to um, even though we have Army medical coverage, we still have to go on take get our Medicaid Medicare too. So anyway, so that's what happened with the doctors. So I got the doctor who is actually across the street from me, but let me be clear on this. I don't like women doctors. I like men and everything like that. I'm not, you know, but I just don't like women doctors. So I had had that doctor before, but then they changed my insurance. So I said, well, I'll go back and he is across the street. But he just doesn't get, at least he doesn't get me and stuff like that. And the doctor that I had before, um, well, I had her, then they changed insurance, so I had to have another doctor who was a woman doctor who I really do miss, but she's way far away. The other doctor is up the road, and then the other doctor was across the street. Anyway, um, the insurance played havoc with the new doctor coming in, so I got this other doctor because I needed to have a doctor. So I went to him a couple of times and stuff like that, and he was good, you know, and stuff like that, but I happened to see that she was on my on our Medicare um, insurance supplement now. Okay. So I'm like, okay, that's good. So I, I got a card for her and everything like that and made an appointment, which was, I thought for Tuesday. So, but I had to call to ask her, did, did I need something or anything like that? And she said, she called the, the secretary called back and said, your appointment is until Thursday. I'm like, well, how the heck did I get Tuesday out of Thursday? I'm telling you. Okay. 
Anyway, I got this open. So let's see what these are. So these are beads naturally. One is gray. That's going to be good. Because I love these beads. I'm, 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 I'm getting into this bead phobia. One is black. One is that um, gingham check like. They call it buffalo check, but we I call it gingham because that's what I was used to. And then the other one is white. And that and there's a whole bunch of them. There's about 150 in here, maybe. So I had to have some fun with this. So then they sent me this. And I thought it was ribbon. But it's some kind of lace or something. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure. I swore it was ribbon, but it isn't. This is some kind of plastic. Hey, Wellness Google Mom, how are you doing? Okay. So this is the pink. This is plastic. I thought this was ribbon. So there's blue. There's two blues. And two pinks. Let's see. Pinks. That's it. Oh, it's some purple. Let's see if I can show you the purple. Well, one's blue on one side and then one's purple on the other. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but I'll find something. And then I got Perrier water. And this is from, from Aaliyah's Deals, which is on my YouTube page. And this was, now, these Perrier waters are, I think, $30 for the case. And I paid something like $6 for the case on Aaliyah's Deals. But this was also a flash deal. Let me check this, then I'll bring this up for you. But this was a flash deal. So if you're going on Aaliyah's Deals, um, Look on there and go on like, well, if you don't have time, try to do it at least once a day. Okay, so this is done. So the chocolate syrup is done. We just have to let it cool off and then I'll pour it into the container. So this is what I got. I was trying to get one out, but it's not coming out. These are the cases of the um, the Perrier. So these are for my granddaughter, but this is the the um, lime one. So Carol, you know what I'm going to do with this lime one, don't you? I'm going to make Lime Rickies, because I was at the, the store the other day, bought lemons, bought oranges, bought everything else, forgot to get some lime. Okay, so then the last thing I got, I'll be have to go over and get it. Now this right here, I got from also Leah's deals, and I think this was Leah's deals. It was one of the deals. I'm not sure, but this is, and this was made me very happy. Actually. Well, you have the recipe to make the, the raspberry um, 
the raspberry syrup, right? If not, I'll give it to you because I did not write it in there. This is, um, let me put this down just a little bit. This is whole grain flour and it is, it is Red Mill, Bob's Red Mill. And um, I actually have a, something with him I forgot that I'm supposed to be doing. I have to look and see, but I got four of these. And this was, I got four of these, and this is unbleached white, all purpose organic flour, four. So these will go in my store. That's my phone. These will go in my um, storeroom. Okay, then all you have to do is make that and put it, keep it in your refrigerator in a bottle, any kind of bottle or jar, and I'll just keep it tight. And then you got your, your, your raspberry juice and you either get some water, Perrier water, and they actually have other water. Um, I was looking the other day for um, salsa waters and stuff like that, and they now have lime in them. Um, they probably had it for a long time. When you get a chance, I would invest in a soda maker if you want it that much because, you know, the soda maker is good. I've got to actually do a review on that too again because I've had one for a while and it's time for me to do another one. But I got this all-purpose flour and it's um, unbleached and it's white. And of course, this is um, Bob's Red Mill. So there was four in here altogether. These will go in my storeroom because the, the, the date for this is March 2024, so that's good. But what had happened was, actually I had some, have some flour, but I went to go make something, I forgot what it was, and didn't have any flour in, in here. So my granddaughter was out, happened to call me and see if I needed anything. And I said, well, yeah, I do. I need some flour. And she said to me, don't you have flour in the shed? And I said, yeah, I probably do, but I don't feel like looking for it. So that's what happened with the flour. So that's really it. That's all I really got, I think. Let me make sure. So the chocolate is cooling. And um, like I said, it, it's on. And I will put it, put the... um. The recipe in the description box when I go when I go off, I'll go on to YouTube and gussy up some things and make some other things and stuff like that. And you can do that. Now. Hey Tiffany, is she oh she's in here? It's a good thing I'm ready to read these things. Hey Tiffany, how are you? So um but I don't, I usually try to do it, but I don't think of everything, you know, when I'm trying to work and stuff like that. So each DIY, here's what, we, here's what, here's what I'd like, if everybody wants to, is to learn how to, let me say this, let me say this the right way. Because we're having a food shortage, we don't know what we're going to be short of. Um, and so I'm a kid from the 40s. Well, I was born in 48, so I was still a baby, but I'm really from the 50s where everybody made everything. And I was one of those kids that I went to play, of course. I was a kid, you know, but I watched my mom. I watched my grandma. I watched the ladies in the neighborhood, whoever let me come over and help them cook. I went over. OK, I am not a baker. I am thinking I'm trying to get into school. And um, to, to learn how to bake. But all I want is a certificate. I don't want another degree. I don't need all that. I just want to know how to bake properly. I do bake bread. That's about it. And I have a bread maker. But I am a cook. And I like making things from scratch. So I'm going to write this stuff down in um, the description box and my YouTube channel because, and I will do it once I will do it because I have to change it all the time. So sometimes I forget. So just, you know, work with me on that. So I will want, now we're going to make syrup. Now I'm going to make strawberry syrup. We're going to make some other things. I will tell you all, probably hazelnut spread, those kinds of things that you spend an arm and a leg for when you go to the store. So 
you know, I think that we can do that and really, you know, have some fun with it, you know, and, and, um, you know, store it, store it nicely. Um, if you're going to make two or three of them, I'm, I'm actually going to show you how to can. I'm going to give you some instructions on canning. And we're not going to do like any great thing. We're going to maybe make some, can some tomatoes or something like that. But I'll show you how to can from start to finish so that if you don't can, you know how to can. And you can, like, if you, if you have a garden, like I'm getting ready to start my garden. Hey, mobs, by the way which is going to be fun for me because I had a garden last year and the year before, and each year it gets better and better. So this year I am hoping for a whole bunch of stuff, uh, you know, and it will be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun and it'll be useful. Okay. And as you get things like, if you have a garden and stuff like that, you can preserve your things and stuff like that and save them so that you don't like, for instance, okay. Carol comes from Massachusetts where I used to live. And the winters are brutal up there, brutal, okay? And she's in Tewksbury, which is so close to New Hampshire, you can say Kazuntite. You can season in New Hampshire says Kazuntite, rather. So having said that, you know, even though you work, maybe you work from home now and stuff like that because of the pandemic and stuff like that, I don't know. But what happens is, okay, Lots of times, you know, you don't want to go out because in Boston, especially in Massachusetts, okay, it just snows sometimes. It may appear in April. Okay, I don't think it snowed down here in April, but it has snowed in Delaware in March. So if you have things already in the house prepared and you made it, then you know it's there. When you have little children, you always have a backup, like, you know, like my vanilla and stuff like that that I make, I save it and put it in because a lot of times people will ask me to review their products and stuff like that. So I have a lot of certain products, some products I don't, but what I am going to do, okay, is I'm going to show you how to make sp sprinkles and the little dots, you know, chocolate chip dots or, you know, white chocolate chip darts, dots, I call them, and stuff like that. It is so easy. You know, have, it is so easy, okay? And the thing is, once you become self-reliant, you don't need a lot of things outside. Because, like I said, I lived in... in, in <laughs> Well, what do we, Bloom County? Anybody know where Bloom County came from? If you don't know where Bloom County came from, what cartoon it was at, look it up on, um, yeah, look it up. Okay. I, I live in Bloom County. So we have a store, we have a couple of stores. No, I guess we have one grocery store. But it's like a mom and pop store. So they don't even begin to have some of the things because I have a granddaughter that's allergic to the air. So we're going to actually make some um, pops that are magnum, but they have no egg and no butter and no milk in it. They have, you know, regular um, soy milk and stuff like that to use. So we're going to try to make that. Well, she just left here when I was talking to her about it. So we're going to get real. Because it's getting real out there. And I've always, I don't have, I did not can this September. I will start canning as soon as the farmers start putting some stuff out and stuff like that. Bloom County, you know what Bloom County is, Wellness Frugal Mom? If you look it up in one of the cartoons, Google it. And put, a, put a cartoon in Bloom County. And if, if you don't even use it except for when you're having company or something like that, it's fun to make. It's fun. So one of the things that I learned, and I'm, you're looking for it, one of the things that I learned, and Frugal Mama, okay, is one of the ones, and Mobs too, is one of the ones that I learned from, because you can learn from anybody else. Frugal Mama, if you don't know her, get to know her. 
she does exercise every morning, every morning. And by the way, I've lost four more pounds, okay? Um, because I exercise a little bit with you. I have my own regimen of exercise because I have to do leg stretches and stuff like that. Um, but sometimes I just lay in the bed and I look at it while I'm doing my exercises. But it's nice to be able to get there and see these young people coming out and doing things that try to make us better, okay? Mobs, she does crocheting. Okay, does crocheting. She's on every Thursday night, right, Mobs? Okay, every Thursday night, Wellness Mom is on every, Wellness Frugal Mom is on every morning, okay? And it's wonderful to be able to see these people, these young people doing things, okay? Because there's so many young people out here doing nothing, okay? And I'm a believer, have always been a believer, but even more so now that you have to do something every day. Carol made a charcuterie board. She said, when she comes to see me, and I hope that's going to be soon. I do my stretches in my bed too. Yeah, I do. Because my legs are still, but I'm going to change that because I have not used my cane because the doctor that I had prior to this new one I said to me, don't use the cane unless you absolutely have to. She said, you know, and I have my push, my Captain Bobby pushmobile, I call it, that's really, you know, decorated and has a little seat and all that kind of stuff. The only time I use that is when we have the all around the town yard sale and I'm walking around the town. Other than that, I do not take it. I be careful. I count my steps. I walk down slowly but I'm trying to walk and everything like that without having help. Because once you... Oh, so your life has changed. Well, tell me when it is. So I'm going to be there. We all need help. But I'm trying very hard not to need help. So... My doctor suggested maybe some more physical therapy, which we'll see when I talk to her tomorrow. And uh, if not a chiropractor, but I'm going to get myself in gear. Okay, am I going to be like I was 20 years ago? No, but I'm going to be better. So if I'm going to be better, then that makes me better. That makes me well for you. So there's a lot of things that I know that I learned from my mom and my grandma and from those women in the neighborhood. The women in the neighborhood was really funny because I lived in a homogenous neighborhood. Okay. Okay, for Sunday, I'm not coming on on Sunday. I'm coming on on Saturday, making doing Saturday cooking for Sunday. So I'm just going to be visiting people and stuff like that now. So that'll be good. But um, what's really, really good is the fact that I want to support you. And I, I like being on there. And I like watch, watching what you're cooking and everything. Um, but there were, my neighborhood was homogenous. Like I said, we had Chinese people. We had Jewish people. We had Greek people. The man that lived next door to us had a restaurant. And he was Greek. And I learned to speak a little bit of Greek. I was learning Greek and then he died. But anyway, you know, my father had a store. and. Um, in the neighborhood in the street that we lived on, which was around a corner from the store, was um, I think some people were from Barbados, some were from Jamaica. They were from different people. So there was different food and different smells. Of course, my mother was Portuguese. So there was different smells and stuff all the time. And for me, those smells took on a whole new light because I would just sit outside sometimes especially in the, the fall, you know, when everybody was canning and everything like that. And I would just smell such certain aromas. You know, the woman, we lived in Brownstone. So the woman on to the left of us, she made the best cookies ever. The woman to the right of us made the, some of the best pies ever and so on and so forth. My mother made cakes to die for. I think that's why I don't... <laughs> Yeah, I do. 
I don't make I'm I don't really make cakes because I can't, you know. And but it's it, it she made cakes. She was my mother was a very good cook, a very good cook. Me, I'm a mediocre cook. I could be better. But um I, we've got to to embrace ourselves and enmesh ourselves in learning how to do things, do doing things differently, you know, becoming sure of ourself, so to speak. You know what I mean? And others might not get it. They may get it, but it's it's about us. It's about us as women and men trying to in, in, incorporate this life. Yeah. I mean, because culture and tradition, okay, is what we, and it's funny because a lot of my granddaughter, well, my, she's 12. She said to me one day, so why do we have to learn about cultures and traditions? And I said, because you have to know how to embrace people. Um, and because I was a counselor, I learned how to have respect for certain people's traditions. You know, for instance, if a Muslim family came into my office to see me, which was very rare, but they did, about something about their child, I would naturally say to the father, okay, do you want to have a male present or would you, you don't mind talking to me? And so he would say, no, I don't mind talking to you. And I would address him. And then I would say to him, do I talk to both of you together or what? And you know, I would ask these questions because some Muslim men are more dominant than others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I did my DNA some years ago. So here's what I found. Of course, my mother's Portuguese, but she was also Irish. And I forget, I have to go find that slip. And something Mediterranean, I forgot. And then my father, of course, was African-American and Native American. Okay, so and he was actually um, African-American. He was from the Limba tribe. And it was really very quite, quite um, an eye awakener for me. You know, so I'm Indian on both sides. I'm Portuguese on my mom's side. I have Irish in me. Okay. Who knew? So we have to embrace ourselves. We have to be happy with ourselves. We have to learn how to, first of all, love yourself. Then you learn to love others. Because the Bible says you love your neighbor as you love yourself. So if you don't have any self-love, and that don't mean you walking around talking, oh, I'm just the cat's pajamas. No, mm -mm, no. Loving yourself means nurturing yourself, having self-care, being aware of yourself, not letting other people abuse you. You know, learning how to talk to people. And so no matter whether that person talks bad to you or not, you can just look at them and walk away. So back to cooking. So anyway, we are going to learn different kinds of things. So again, I will put everything down for this Hershey syrup, this chocolate syrup. And I think the syrup is ready to be poured in. So let me do that. I can take a cup of coffee though. So I saved this. I wash it out really, really good. I save it. So we're gonna put the, this chocolate in. Well, that's the syrup consistency.
I mix just enough. that it fills the bottle. Then I put the top back on. Ow, my knee. Do this over here. Put the top back on. And I stick it back in the refrigerator. Mm. Now this one. There you go. Stick it back in the refrigerator, and it's done. And then we have it. So if anybody wants me to explore anything or look up anything, because I have a lot of old cookbooks, okay, that have a lot of um, secret things in it and whatever. Well, not secret things, but you know, old things. And I find that, you know, old things are sometimes better than some of the new things. However, I was going to try a new recipe today for dinner. So anyway, I'm going to get off here and clean up and get ready to cook dinner. And I will talk to you all soon. I love you. Take care. God bless. Stay safe. Hold your families close. Bye-bye. See you in our next video. God willing.